Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Patrick here. Your word for the day today comes from Matthew 10, 5 through 15. Let me read it for us. These 12 Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Do not go among the Gentiles or any town of the Samaritans. Go rather to the lost sheep of Israel. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Do not get any gold or silver or copper to take with you in your belts. No bag for the journey or extra shirt or sandals or a staff, for the worker is worth his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, search there for some worthy person and stay at their house until you leave. As you enter the home, give it your greeting. If the home is deserving, let your peace rest on it. If it is not, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town. Shake the dust off your feet. Truly, I tell you, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Calvary, today we, 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 we see Jesus sending out the 12 men that have been following him around all over Galilee and, uh, and listening to his, teach, his teachings and, uh, and, and taking wisdom from him uh, for, for, the past, uh, for the past couple of years. And uh, you see him giving them some really specific instructions. Um, you know, the first, the first thing that we see is that Jesus told them, hey, we don't, I don't want you to go to, uh, to the Samaritans. I don't want you to go outside of Israel to the Gentiles. I just want you to go to the people of Israel. I want you to share the good news with them. Tell them that the Messiah is here. The kingdom of God has come here. Uh, this, this is happening. And, uh, and listen, don't, don't worry about it if they reject you. That's another thing that we see. I think it's interesting that Jesus tells them, don't take anything with you when you go. You know, it says, hey, don't even take any money. Don't even take an extra set of clothes. Because what he is inferring is that God's going to provide everything that they need. People are going to welcome them and give them provision. You know, um, I think one big takeaway for, for our lives is, uh, is probably a question that we should ask ourselves. How are you serving? Are you plugged in here at Calvary? Are you plugged in serving the kingdom of God? Are you going and sharing the good news with your, with your friends, your coworkers, the people that you have influence over? You know, Jesus sends us out to, to share the good news of Christ. And, uh, and it's important that we integrate that into our daily lives. The second thing that I think was most interesting about this passage is that, is that God knew the bigger picture, even though he didn't share all the details with the twelve. You see, in the, in, the, in the first part of this passage, uh, Jesus says, listen, don't go to the Gentiles or any, enter any town of the Samaritans. And he wasn't saying, listen, this doesn't apply to the, in, to the Gentiles or the Samaritans. He just said, listen, I don't want you to do this part. This is what I want you to do. What the twelve didn't know is that there was a whole plan in place for God to reach the Gentiles through the, through the, uh, through the work of Paul and after he ascended into heaven. And, uh, and, and that God was going to see that through as well. But right then... The 12 didn't know that that was the plan. You see, sometimes God calls us to do things and expects our obedience, even though we may not have the greater context of what his big plan is. So today, Calvary, what I want to challenge you to do is to serve where God has you. Get plugged in where you're able. Share the good news with your friends and your, your close contacts, even if you don't have the big picture. The third thing and final thing that we're going to talk about this morning is, is the part where, where Jesus said, listen, if somebody doesn't, doesn't welcome you into their home, don't even waste your time there. You know, in recovery, sometimes we talk about stuff called, something called our best yes, the best use of our time, the best use of our energy. And guys, if people aren't receptive to what you have to say, sometimes it's better just to cut bait and move on to the next person that needs to hear the good news of Christ. You see, when people put walls up, they're a lot less likely to receive what we have. If they don't need anything, they may, may be a lot less likely to receive what we have to tell them. So I think this applies to service and ministry as well, because, uh, because oftentimes we, we want to chase this, uh, this, this, this thing that's, that's really, it's, it looks like a challenge, and I want to reach this person that's really resistant to the gospel. That's not really our job. The Holy Spirit's going to soften their heart when the, when the time is right. So I want to encourage you today, Calvary, to get plugged in where God has you, Okay, um, be obedient 
uh, to what God's calling you to, even if you don't have the greater context, and make sure that you're giving your best yes when you serve the kingdom of God. Have a great day.